today's kanji is this one. And you can pronounce like go, ko, no chi, ato, ushiro. Let's look at our examples. First of all, go. We have kanjis like Kongo, Kongo, Kongo from now on. This one, Kom means now. And this character means after, behind, back, and so on. So Kongo means from now on. Then we have. Saigo, Saigo, Saigo. Sai means the most. So the most behind means final or end. Saigo, Saigo. Then we have. Shigo, Shigo, Shigo means after that, and she, as you can guess, means that. Shigo, Shigo, Shigo. Gojits, Gojits, Gojits. Jits means day. So this kanji character combined together means later date. Gojits. And then we have. Sango, Sango, Sango. Sam means give birth. So after give birth, so that means after childbirth. Sango, Sango. Then we have this pronunciation of ko, and the example is ko tai. Kotai, Kotai. Tai means withdraw.
back off so this kanji is together combined together means retreat or recession kotai 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 then we have this pronunciation of nochi nochi example is nochi No, no, here is hiragana, not kanji. And yo. Nochi no yo. Nochi no yo. Nochi no yo. Nochi means after. And no, here is of. And yo means world. So, nochi no yo becomes after ages. Nochi no yo, nochi no yo. Then you can pronounce this kanji as ato as well. And the example is. Ato. Ga ki ki is hiragana. Ato ga ki, ato ga ki, ato ga ki. Ga ki means writing. So after writing, so that means after afterward or postscript. Ato ga ki, ato ga ki, ato ga ki. And finally, we have this pronunciation of Ushiro, Ushiro, Ushiro. Ushiro. This is hiragana, so it doesn't have any meaning here. So, Ushiro. This kanji character itself is a meaning of behind and back. So, ushiro is behind or back. Ushiro, ushiro, ushiro. Thank you for watching.